This service update will cover Cabotron inserts which have a three month warranty from purchase and stereo mates with a six month warranty from purchase date. All modern Cabotron stereo mates are detachable and have a six month warranty, but there are different types of stereo mate and therefore I want to run through which is which, because if you use the wrong stereo mate on the wrong unit, it just won't work. The Cabotron Jet Mate is fairly obvious because it's thicker and bigger and it has a different fitting to the rest of the Cabotrons. This is for our Cabotron to allow you to have profi and scaling because it has air and water flow. Here is a standard stereo mate that connects to most analogue 30k Cabotron units. These stereo mates can be bought in black and grey. They both have the same fittings so will connect to the handpiece cable. You may have noticed that on some older stereo mates the manufacturing etch date codes are very difficult to see or find. We have changed this recently. On all stereo mates manufactured from 2022 onwards, the code is laser etched onto the side of the stereo mate and is big and easy to see. All stereo mates have a six month warranty, so the manufacturer date will give you an idea of how long you've had the stereo mate and should be linked to the purchase invoice. In 2017, we launched a new digital Cavatron called the Touch and we made changes to the stereo mate so that it had a rotating 360 degree grip. In 2021, we launched an updated digital Cavatron called the Cavatron 300, which also uses the Cavatron 360 Stereo Mate. The Cavatron Stereo Mate 360 can only be used with digital Cavatrons, the Touch and 300. On any other analog Cavatron, you can only use the standard Stereo Mate. However, you can use a standard Stereo Mate with a digital Cavatron Touch and 300. When stereo mates are used with appropriate cavatrons, they work perfectly for at least 800 autoclave cycles, but will not last for the lifetime of the cavatron. This means if a stereo mate is autoclaved three times a day, you can expect the stereo mate to work perfectly for at least a year. Some cavatron users may have never removed the stereo mate and will leave it in place, cover with a disposed shield and wipe it down after each patient. Other Cavatron users are required by CQC regulations to thermally disinfect the stereo mate after every patient. If autoclaved after each usage, the lifetime of the stereo mate will be reduced due to the rigours of the thermal disinfection process. It is therefore worthwhile to open any new stereo mate to make sure it is working perfectly. If the product does have an initial fault, it will be within the six month warranty period and will be replaced by dense Splicerona. Dense Splicerona do not over manufacture our products, we manufacture them to order. Once an order is placed, the process begins, which means any stereo mate or Cavatron insert you purchase will have been manufactured within a couple of months of the purchase date in most cases. If you would like to see the purchase date, then it will be visible on the side of the stereo mate or etched onto the metal stack of a Cavatron insert. Here you can see a full range of Cavatron inserts. We no longer sell 25k cavatrons in the UK, which are a lower power unit which cavitate at 25,000 rotations per second and have been replaced by 30k cavatrons, which are quieter, offer warm water and produce less vibration which reduces RSI and offers more patient comfort. However, there are still some Bobcats and 25k select units in use and therefore we still manufacture and sell the 25k cavatron inserts. These inserts have a longer stack and are not used with a removable stereo mate and will not fit into new Cavatron stereo mates. You can accidentally use a 30k insert in a 25k Cavatron handpiece, but it will not cavitate properly. You will still see the occasional insert with black or grey handles. This insert is called a TFI insert, which means through spray. The difference between a TFI through spray and an FSI focus spray insert is where the water comes out. The water on a through spray insert comes out close to the handle and tries to hit the tip to cool it down, whereas the focus spray tip has the water coming out close to the tip, which means it cools it down more efficiently and it stops it wearing out too quickly. If you come across TFI black grey inserts, they will be very old and should be discarded. You may have Cavatron inserts of differing materials, styles and colours. Some years ago we made an insert with a silicon pink or purple handle which were called Bellissima. These have since been replaced with a new blue or green silicon handle of a different design called Fit Grip. We wanted the new Fit Grip silicon handles to have the same super gingival blue and sub gingival green colour as the resin handled insert to avoid confusion. Therefore it is just down to personal preference whether you want to use a silicon handle or a resin handled insert. No matter what handle colour or tip shape 
All inserts should be set on a power or water level which matches their function and age. Therefore, you want to set the power and the water at a setting which allows for a consistent drip of water surrounded by a light hue. Super gingival blue inserts are used above the gingival margin and generally used on medium power, medium water. Subgingival green inserts, which are used below the gingiva in perio pockets and the fecation, should be used on low power and low water. It is all about tip circumference. The higher the power, the higher the circumference of the tip, and the lower the power, the lower the circumference of the tip. If you are using a green insert in a tight perio pocket, you want the cavitron to be set on low power. However, if you are trying to debride heavy plaque deposits, you want to use the blue insert on medium to high power. The insert's metal stack over time can bend and warp. This can happen if the inserts are not handled with care, especially when hot. Sometimes when removing the insert from the bag, it's ripped open using the tip or bent or warped when being removed by hand and touched along the metal stack rather than being held at the handle. The metal stack has lots of thin little strips of metal which open and close 30,000 times per second. Energy creates heat and if the stack isn't completely cooled with water or cold, then it's quite easy to bend it. So when the insert is hot, you must take really good care to hold or touch it just along the handle. If warped or bent and then used, it will certainly wear more quickly and quite possibly break at the tip. Inserts should drop straight into the stomach, clear of the side. When an insert is cavitating, it's creating a vibration. And if you put something vibrating against a solid surface, it doesn't vibrate and it won't work. The same is true of an insert. If you forcefully have to push the insert down into the stereomate, it won't cavitate or create any kind of ultrasonic vibration whatsoever. So there is no point in using it and the insert should be discarded. A cavitron insert should simply drop into the stereomate and click into place. The other really important thing to know about cavitron insert maintenance is that the stereomate must always be full right to the top with water so that there is a bubble of water sitting on the top then wet the insert o-ring and drop it in vertically into the stereomate and a small amount of water should spill out as the insert drops into place. If the stack is not kept vertical and full of water, then air will get trapped. This means that a portion of the insert metal stack, which is cavitating at 30,000 movements per second, will not be being cooled by water. Too much power creates heat. And as this heat travels along the insert to the tip, it will allow the insert to wear down more quickly. Therefore, the cooler the tip, the longer the insert will last. Even if just substituting one insert for another, the stereomate must be refilled and held vertically to avoid any airlock from forming and the insert overheating. If inserts are used on too high a power setting or on boost constantly, then they can also overheat and wear down quickly or possibly separate. So look for the consistent drip and light hue to gauge what power and water amount to use. If an insert starts to heat up, then remove the insert and make sure the stack is full of water and turn the power down. This should resolve the issue. The yellow implant insert has a detachable blue tip which can be secured and removed using the soft tip insert wrench. This insert is designed for cleaning around implants to protect the implant from being scratched. It is not designed to do any other scaling and should not be used on its own without the blue tip. The blue tip should only ever be used with the yellow insert and never used with any other insert. Finally, we have the Profi insert, which is used with our Jet Fresh powder for stain removal. This is used with the Jet Mate, which has both air and water. So if scaling, fill the jet mate up with water, and if switching over to air polishing, then take out the insert and insert the Profi insert, and carefully line up the insert with the air hole at the end of the jet mate rubber nozzle, and just push it into place, making sure to not chip any of the rubber nozzle away, and then seat it in place. Over time, inserts will wear and possibly bend. And as mentioned earlier, this happens more quickly if you do not handle your inserts with care or fill the stereomate or jet mate up with water. To help monitor inserts, we use Cavitron insert guides, which measure tip wear and also tip shape. Simply take the card and identify which insert you want to measure by reading the stack. Blue inserts will say FSI and then a number. Green inserts will say SLI and a number, and this will match up to the insert on the measurement card. For example, this insert is an FSI Powerline 100, which is here on the card. 
I place the insert along the black line and it should not deviate. If it bends away from this line, it has to be discarded. The insert should extend beyond the blue line. This means it is working at full efficiency. If the insert is short of the blue line, it's lost 25% of its efficiency. And if down to the red line, it's lost 50% of its efficiency. The insert will wear down very quickly after it goes beyond the blue line, probably within a few months. Once it goes beyond the red line, the insert needs to be discarded because no efficiency and no power is coming through that tip. The shorter an insert gets, the less and less it can do. It would be more efficient at this point to use a hand instrument. To measure a 25k insert, you go through the same process and hold the insert along the grey line. This 25k insert is a power line 1000, which you can see here on the card. To measure a 25k insert, you go through the same process but hold the insert along the grey line. Insert measurement guides come with the purchase of an insert or a cavatron. However, you can also contact your local Dent Supply Serona account manager or our service department and they will arrange to send out more guides for you. If an insert is leaking between the handle and the stereomet connection, then change the o-ring on the insert with this special straw device which comes with it to avoid splitting the o-ring. If the leaking persists, try changing the stereomet as the internal plastic it's made from will wear down over time. If the stereomet or jetmate is leaking at the base by the water control, change the smaller waterline o-ring here.